While we may call snow a flute, which among all the flutes of language is the finest stem, the deepest well to hide sounds, the fanfares of interwar silence, so beloved of the lieutenant who tells his soldiers to study the military trade, snow in the business of war is no fault of flutes or fanfares, a plane flies like an angel through the heavens, scattering the feathers of the hawk's victims wrapped in white, like a cutout sheet of darkness, nervously sealing the holes in the flute's ragged corpse. Perhaps in that music between silver and bronze, all snow and water, it rises like a sail, like a ship's pitch-covered bottom. The lieutenant forgets orders and hallucinates. The almonds will flower and the soldiers melt like snow through the village, seeking port wine. Lucid in his dreams, he bleeds from his head. Apollinaire has forgotten something. In the end, he'll ask for pickled cabbage juice, but there are no villagers here. The angel of death arrives opens the door, shuts his eyes, wraps him in music, and then cuts loose. His boat on the river, the soldiers bring wine, sit downcast on the hilltop, make a tent from their rifles, and pull dried bread from their pockets, washing it down with their wine. Sadness and surrealism, death is here. All around them lurk ravens and foxes.